guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting for you to episode 40 of Delicious Party Pretty Care. So let's go ahead and get started with, <laughs> of course, the episode in 3, 2, 1, go. This is the episode about, yeah, okay, it's the Talk Me episode. Yeah, I guess his dad's coming home. Both of their... <laughs> I love how we have Coconut and Ron just like hugging. I think that's so freaking cute. Mm-hmm. Oh, that looked good. Finally, finally, I mean, oh, come on now, it was there, we were all just waiting for y'all to figure it out. At least we're finally getting into it now, because, like, it would have been, like, no, because, see, at the same time, like, I would have wanted it for the finale, like, at least in the final couple of episodes to be like, okay, Yui and the rest of the gang finds out, or, you know, Mari finds out before, and then Yui finds out, and then we have a moment, but, you know, it's okay. I still can't believe this is ending in like eight, nine weeks. Yeah, because ne well, because next week is the Christmas episode, and then I think it goes from what it typically every Pretty Cure show does, like the week after Christmas, it goes on break for like a week or two, then it resumes for like the last couple of episodes because that's mainly the final battle arc that we get into and then eventually when that's done that's when we officially get to see the first look of the new girl or well I'm about to say girls girl but because we are today is the 17th so at least by next week we should have our first official like art of the new girls maybe I'm guessing. Usually, like, yeah, when we get closer and closer to the end of the previous show, you know. Also seeing Kome Kome, it's just reminding me how I still want that freaking plush of Kome Kome. And I might get it this week. Yep, so you weren't doing it and trying to be in trouble. But uh, I 
I mean, but in a way, he was destined for it, though. I mean, it makes sense on why he has to do it, but still. And let me guess, here comes Yui. Amane? Oh no, what's her face? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The perfection. And you know, the workaholic thing. <laughs> No, the the Christmas Yule log. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it was like, well, what you think we talking about? <laughs> get together it's obvious like come on since day one he has a crush on her and it's just like let it happen we're almost done with this show so just let it happen mm. damn you can push him when you care about all the way Yeah, but secretly you'll miss it. <laughs> I mean, damn, not the Christmas cake recipe, Jesus. Like, it depresses, baby. But I get it because this is the Christmas episode part one, so we gotta take it. Yeah. 
character. Because, I mean, obviously, Yui, you can't fight. You can't transform into a pretty character. What can you do? Is she okay? She just knocked out. Is she gonna fall? Oh, this changes I thought they would never do this. I thought they would never do this. Like, or at least wait until, like, the couple of episodes that we had left almost to the end to be like, yes, talk to me, Yui. Y'all now know y'all secret identities. But no, there was, like, episode 40. It's happening to freaking day. Oh, my God. Oh my god. But I see, okay, hold on, but like, like, let's say this, let's say this. Now that they both know, they don't have to hide anything anymore. Like, oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Yeah, and, and like you said, we'll talk after. Jesus. Is that supposed to be? Oh, okay, a solar beam.
Mm -hmm. Okay, so destroy the tablet. God, he's such an underrated character. I just want to know how this conversation is going to go, especially with seeing Yui and talking to me. Yui is going to be saying some ish. I mean, she ain't going, she's not going to be angry. She's going to be, like, at first she was, like, very, like, oh my god, like, my best friend is also black pe and, and such. But now, like, oh my god, like I said, it doesn't have to be awkward between them anymore. But still, at the same time, this might be his last job. But something tells me at the same... Mm, he, he might still continue, especially I think Cinnamon is going to be like, no, as I said last week, you deserve it. And then he gets to keep them. And then I'll be happy. <laughs> Maybe next week. Money in the background. Oh my god. The mom of the group. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 
Oh. That's a cat one. Yeah. And Mari gets to have the cat one. We're, and we're not going to get to see that. No. Uh, they're, they're just going to be like, hey, no. They all go in, oh my god. Told you, we ain't seeing Jack Ish. Finally, he's showing up. So that's why all the missing ones, yeah, in preparation for that. Okay, this, ooh, for a part one, two part two, two parter week for a Christmas, like really just a, a two parter Christmas episode is interesting. Different, but interesting because like we've, n I've never really from every single other freaking pretty creature series, I've never seen where it, it's a two parter. So, yeah, that is interesting. But I love the fact that, like, one, yes, Yui and Takumi finally found out about, you know, Takumi being Black Pepper and such. But, I mean, well, because we already knew that Takumi knew about Yui, but he just didn't say anything. And I was expecting, you know, him to say that in the episode. But they're like, no, okay, we're going to cut that. You know, it is important, but not, like, as important for... Excuse me, Jesus, for what we want um, as of right now. Heck, I would have liked to see, you know, talking me go to Cook Kingdom. But, of course, yeah, once again, that's another important thing, you know, that is not as important. Because we've already seen it ourselves, so it makes no sense to go see it again with Takumi. But I get it. Still. Um, the episode was good. To have an episode really mainly focus on him episode because like like i said he's the most underrated character in my opinion so any episode that he gets a focus is like a blessing in my opinion because he at first he was just you know yui's next door neighbor slash friend I don't trust him. Is it just me? Like, I mean, yes, I understand Fennel. He He's nice. He's a good guy. But then, like, there's something else down there. Like, going back to, like, freaking Hugato. And the situation of Hugato. Of, like, um... What, uh... Kiriel's, like, future husband in a different universe. And such. Um... And how very dark that show got. Because, you know, when it got dark, it got dark. Um, I'm, I'm kind of getting those feels, but not as much. But yeah, he seems like he's going to be a, ba a bad guy. Or the bad guy of this series. And we just, you know, don't get to see it until next week. Because something else is about to happen. Having all, like, both Coco, yeah, Kokone and you, you didn't really get to see Amane or Ron her in that preview. So anything really truly can happen in this next episode. But as I was saying, continuing back on talking to me, especially when we get into the final thoughts of this show, he is the most underrated character. And like I said, any episode that has a focus on him is a blessing because at the beginning of this show, he was just the kid who was, you know, just the friend of Yui and the next door neighbor and we know that he had a crush on Yui but now he's in he's more involved in the plot and such and 
he's getting more developed every single time when we see him. And so I like that. It, it's pretty much different for most of the other guys that, you know, well, yeah, most of the guys of any other Pretty Cure series who is, like, kind of a potential love interest for one of the cures because 50 out of 50, that that love interest barely, you know, they fall through without it. And next thing you know, they don't get together. I mean, once again, we can go back to Hagato for an example and such with Homane and Harry, even though we all knew that wasn't going to work because she's a freaking kid and he's an adult slash hamster. So that was never going to work, in my opinion. We all know it. Even though I shipped it, I was over here like, yes, they look good together. Like, yeah, I want them to be together. And, you know, mm -mm. We, we just saw in there, it, it, it wasn't going to happen. <laughs> we all secretly knew. But I am excited for the Christmas, for part two of the Christmas episode. I think it's going to be really good next week. But other than that, guys, that's my reaction to you towards episode 40 of Delicious Party Pretty Cure. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for episode 41. Bye, guys.